What's up everybody, Dre back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just released another briefing. This one is Briefing 48, Game Design Photogrammetry. Let's go ahead and just hop into it. Uh, attention officers, welcome to our 48th newsletter. This week we're going to be taking a look at some of the work that makes the suspects, civilians, and your fellow officers feel more alive. It's a subject that is unfortunately not talked about very often in comparison to its cousins AI, effects, and textures, despite being just as important or more depending on who you talk to. This week we'll be talking about how we bring specifically our officers, suspects, and civilians to life. Our artists don't just sculpt the clothing and equipment that our characters sport, we take direct scans of our gear to ensure greater authenticity as we outfit all of our NPCs and player models to make our world feel more alive. Ah uh, yes, this is actually a pretty common thing in the gaming industry that's been going on for a while where they scan a bunch of stuff and put it into the game. Pretty neat. But moving on, it says, Gerard Technical Character Artist. Gerard, known to some members of the community as Mary G? Really? That's a dev, right? Or am I thinking of the character model Gerard? Yeah, I think that's a dev, right? I just didn't know that the G in Mary G stood for Gerard. What a coincidence. He's a veteran of modeling for more tactically minded shooters. Some of his claims to fame are his contributions to the monstrous set of Arma 3 mods called RHS and a large uniform pack called USP, both of which should be familiar to even the most casual Arma modder. Can't say I'm too familiar with it, but anyway. The method that Void uses to translate the real world equipment into the world of Losunas is known as photogrammetry. Using his personal collection of tactical gear, as well as acquisitions from other sources and insight from connections within the armed forces community, Gerard crafts the scans into usable equipment to outfit officers and suspects alike. And we got the first picture here. It's obviously a raincoat. That's what it looks like. This is interesting. Underneath this, it says a full material mesh, albedo texture, black and white map, and a normal map. The result of a photogrammetry session and post-processing. All right, cool. Makes sense as to why everything seems so real in the game. But moving on here, it says, according to Gerard, photogrammetry versus traditional methods, modeling and sculpting, is less settled on the artist's interpretation of a given item and provides realistic proportion details that are very hard for an artist to replicate. Not to mention how fast we're able to produce usable models, though it is faster, translating the output of photogrammetry into an aforementioned models still requires capable artists to clean up the scan and make the meshes come to life did you like watch my video the last one that i made on this because i was like even if you're doing mocap did you need artists and you know a lot of people were saying that they obviously needed artists in case you know there's something wrong with the mesh that they could fix in there i'm wondering if that's why they're mentioning this but anyways, underneath this, we got our first picture here. It's a picture of a big looking thing that's staring at a boot or Tim. I'm not sure what kind of shoe that is. I wonder if they have to like move the shoe around, right? It's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Underneath this, it says a version of the photogrammetry setup. Underneath this is what looks like the in-game version of this boot. Why does it look like a Skecher? Skechers. Has that big S at the top. But underneath this, it says photogrammetry output after some cleanup. Yeah, so when the animators come in to like fix up some mesh issues, you know. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Obviously, the real life version just looks better than the game version. But once they come in and, you know, fix it up a little bit more, it's going to look pretty much the same. But moving on here. In conclusion, this concludes our 48th briefing. Be sure to tune in next week for our next development news. Yeah, that one's pretty short and that's pretty much it when it comes to this newsletter this one was relatively short it feels like they were touching on that last uh topic i was talking about but yeah i just thought i'd make a little video about it and uh yeah be sure to subscribe if you like the content and uh yeah i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye